with using the example code and pseudocode here in step 3. Tap the copy button and then select the program canvas button in the upper right to link a new program to this activity. Name it Lights, choose the text program type, and select the robot you are using. Go ahead and paste the example code. Set stabilization to off so Sphero can spin on its outer shell and get the desired gyroscope reading. Now, set the back LED, the same one used to aim, to 255. This will ensure it is at its brightest while the program runs. Now, invite participants to spin Sphero like a top to change the LED colors. In order for the main LED to change color each time you spin Sphero, you need to continuously evaluate the gyroscope's yaw, spin rate, and direction. To do this, use a while loop. It has already started for you. On the next line, begin an if-then conditional to evaluate the direction and rate of spin and assign a specific color to each direction. Essentially, what you want is, if Sphero spins counterclockwise, turn the main LED green, else turn the main LED red. Use Get Gyroscope and have the program check to see if the spin rate is greater than zero. Just so you know, any counterclockwise turn will be greater than zero. Additionally, let's normalize the spin rate and the color scale. This will adjust the main LED's brightness to scale with the spin rate. The faster you spin Sphero, the brighter the main LED will glow. The gyroscope is measured on a scale of zero to 2000 degrees per second, and the color scale is measured from 0 to 255. We want to normalize these so that both use the same scale. To do this, we will divide 2000 by 255. This gives us 7.84. So now, set the main LED to get the gyroscope yaw spin rate and divide it by 7.84. Be sure to close the IF portion of the conditional with a curly brace before beginning the ELSE portion. For the ELSE portion of the condition, you need to set the main LED to glow red if Sphero spins clockwise. Because the gyroscope reads clockwise spins in negative degrees, you need to use the absolute value of the gyroscope yaw spin rate to normalize the spin rate and color scales. Remember, Divide by 7.84 to do this. Finish and close the conditional with a closed curly brace. Now run the program. Spin Sphero fast and slow to test normalization of the yaw spin rate and the color scale.